Moses represents the law. Moses is the lawgiver. Moses is the mighty, 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 mighty Mount Sinai law lawgiver, right? We know that. And Elijah represents the mighty, 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 mighty prophets of God that took off the heads of 850 false prophets. We know that, right? So if these two prophets are still in the New Testament, right? This is very carefully. And you pastors and preachers are listening to me right now. Pray about this, about all those people saying that you don't have to keep the law, especially those who talk about the, uh, sodomy and uh, LGBTQPB, you have to realize when they're saying that the law is no longer relevant. But here's what you say to them. No, the law is in the New Testament and the law is in Jesus because Moses was in the New Testament and Eli Moses as a lawgiver is in the New Testament and Elijah as the prophet is in the New Testament and God speaks in the New Testament, the law and the prophets. Now remember this very carefully.